Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And for today, I'm going to show you how to draw this adorable little dragon we all know and love, Mushu from Disney's animation Mulan. Now this is the animated Mulan, not the new live action, but because the live action Mulan just was released on Disney Plus, I thought it'd be fun to do a fun little tutorial series based on our favorite animated characters from the movie Mulan. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. We're gonna start off with just laying everything out. It's kind of a close up, so it's not a full body image of Mushu. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna make this big old circle up here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring down Another big circle here. I'm gonna round it off. I'm actually gonna bring out this round down. Up, and then we're gonna go ahead and go up, curve in. So I see go down and then up and start to curve down. So make sure you have these like little triangles right here for right now just to kind of help us with Mushu's like his little furry parts right here. He doesn't really have scales so you're going to go ahead and bring this other side of his neck down. He's very skinny. So bring it all the way down. We got one shoulder here that will be an arm and then across from here we have another shoulder. Alright. Then you're going to bring down this arm and go up. And you're gonna go ahead and just circle out this part so you know I go out just a little bit because Cricky's gonna be in his hands. That way we get two of the most important characters out of the way and together with the same picture. All right, and then Cricky right here. It's gonna be a little, little circle here. We're just gonna scoot on down and make another circle. He's going to be sitting in Mushu's palm. So the next thing you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just kind of roughly place where things go on Mushu. So his little nose is looks kind of, so it's like you go in right here to the middle. We're going to round up and round up. Kind of like a diamond almost. So there's his nose. Now for here, I'm still going to go ahead and give him an eye guideline. Right like in the middle of the first circle we made between those little two triangles. So you're going to go ahead and go up, pass that circle, and make an oval here, and then make an oval right here. Sure, make a big oval and then give a little bit of space. So just I'm gonna bring down this side and this one's gonna go right on alongside of it. There we go. Okay. And then let's go ahead and fill in the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and lightly erase like that circle, go back in, jump back in and put those lines back down for me. All right. So for this first eye, I'm gonna go up on top, round off, bring it down. Okay, and then I'm gonna jump over here, bring this one down. So it's kind of like his eyebrow area, but he doesn't really have eyebrows. Alrighty, and then we got his little pupils are gonna be down here looking down at Cricky. They're just simple little black pupils with a little bit of shine in them. Bring down this part of his head here and that's just gonna go and hide back here. Alright, so then you have one horn that goes up and down and then you're gonna go back behind this eyebrow and you make one horn go up and then down and he's got like another little piece of his horn here Another little piece of his horn here. Round off here, round off here. Then back here behind this little part of section of him, 
in front of where we circled off his head right here. You're gonna bring out one ear, go out, and then go right back in. Kinda looks like a dog ear, pretty simple. Then you jump over here on the same side, like starting at this side of this eyebrow and this eyeball. You're gonna bring out this one. Circle this down and back into his eye. Then you're gonna circle off this end. And you can go ahead and get rid of this line. And we're gonna go ahead and from the middle, you're gonna go in and cut it off up here. And then this part's gonna go up and down because he's got a little like a little piece of his ear chopped off. And you can go ahead and get rid of that line. And go ahead and just close off that ear here too. Then for like the sides of his face, is I guess we'll call them sideburns because it's like fur or scales, who knows. But from here, where we made this first triangle, you're gonna bring it up one piece, up of here. This part is gonna relatively just kind of curve down into another part. And then you're gonna go right back into his neck. Then over here, you're gonna go out. Same thing around the triangle. This piece is gonna go down and bring out this piece and then go right back in. Now for his nose, for the middle part of his nose, you're gonna bring it down and you got kind of like a little bit of like a snarl thing going on. So you got this one here and then you've got his nose going outwards just a little bit. So a little bit of a snarl. It's not a snarl, it's just like a crinkle in his nose. And then you've got, I'm gonna make this just a little, a tad bit bigger. Okay, for his nose, you're gonna go, where you could kind of figure out where the middle part is. I'm gonna go up from this side, the right side, bring this down and then go in. Same over here, you're just gonna curve this up and it's gonna be a little bit smaller because it's still like a three quarter turn and then bring that one in. Then we're gonna kind of like, for right now, I'm gonna bring down this part of his nose and kind of circle it up. So you see how I circle it up? I'm gonna go right up to his eye. We're gonna make a dimple right here underneath his eye, but you're gonna make sure that this line goes up into his dimple. So we're gonna adjust this in a bit, but first we gotta make sure we get his teeth right. So after we made like this little up upper lip right here, you're gonna go in and kind of rectangle this off. You're gonna follow up. So you see we're going through outside of his neck, his, his face, just a bit. So you're gonna go up, and you see it connects. All right, just hold up, hang tight with me. Okay, now we're gonna go on the outside of his teeth. And we still have like these guidelines of his bottom lip. You're gonna bring this out, go in. Then back here, you're gonna go and continue keeping this part right here. You're gonna go down just a little bit, kind of like a horse's mouth. And you're just gonna go underneath that smile, fall alongside those teeth, that teeth line we created, and go up. So you see if I just kind of lightly erase these parts and erase this part. Now for his teeth, of course they're jaggedy, kind of like this. Not Nothing too scary. He's just got them sharp dragon teeth. But the fun part about his upper lip, we're gonna kind of give him a little bit of a mustache. So you're just gonna kind of bring out the little frilly pieces here 
I think he's got just like four, kind of like a mustache, like Eddie Murphy. You see four little mustaches. You can get rid of this here. And you got a little mustache. So Mushu's face is the most important part of his whole body. I mean, it's just the facial expressions and the fact that he actually looks like Eddie Murphy. So from the dimple right here, you're gonna go on top and kind of like make another dimple line, another kind of a smile line underneath his eye and on top right here. And then he's got just a little bit of a smile line over here too. And then he's got his little dragon whiskers. So we're out from over here. I'm just gonna kind of go out this way. And you can curve it any way you want. We got one line going this way. Now I'm just gonna fall it right back in. Kind of like a catfish, catfish whiskers. And then from here, I'm gonna make another little whisker. I'm just gonna start it off on the side because we can actually see where the whisker's coming from. Bring it out. alongside that one now erase that whiskers in front okay next let's go ahead and focus on his spikes on the back of his neck so I'm bringing out one spike here curve it in it's kind of just like a fish like a fish fin a shark fin bring this out and go right up into his shoulder Then from underneath his jaw, you're gonna circle down, lightly draw through his whisker, and we're gonna give him, this is his belly. Like his little lizard, like snake skin belly, you know how they got two different tones. And you're gonna round it down, get a little bit wider towards the bottom. And he has more of a poked out chest. And you got like the little ridges. Then for his shoulder and arm, you're gonna go ahead where we made that shoulder, bring it out. You're gonna bring it down to a point. You're gonna go into his hand. Make that nice and pointed. One elbow here. We're gonna go ahead and bring out this shoulder as well, which is gonna go down. Then you're gonna go underneath his arm and go up and you're just gonna kind of circle this for right now. We're gonna draw Mushu's hands because he's petting Cricky on the head. Now Cricky's pretty easy. Alright, first of all we need to go ahead and draw Mushu's finger going down and petting him on the head. So I'm gonna draw one clawed finger. Bring this one down, bring this side down. Circle off, close off this claw. And I'm gonna circle down this middle finger or whatever finger this is. Bring down this finger. And I'm gonna jump inside. Kind of square that off. This more of a square, so up and bring this down. Go in and bring down his wrist. All right, for Cricky's head, we're gonna go ahead and just keep this overall shape. We're just gonna give him more of a point, more of a nose. I'm gonna give him a little eye guideline. So one eye extends outward. And he's got one little, like a little eyebrow like Mushu does right here. Bring this down. And if you get rid of like, I went outside of his head 
and brought out the eye just outside a little bit along with the eyebrow and his little pupils pointed up towards Mushu. And then you're going to go ahead, put it on the same eye, eye line, got another little eye and it's actually we're going to go a little bit off to the side and you're going to curve little upset eyebrow, just an indention for an eyebrow for that facial expression. Bring down this eye. Another pupil in the corner. And you, from this little point on his face, you're going to just kind of curve up and give a little bit of a smile. It's like a smirk almost. And then I'm going to make a couple of indentions for a nose. And this part of his little body, you're going to circle up. So you've got one little leg here. And you just kind of like circle that off. And it's like, it's just like a really thick line. And then his, his hands are just basically that. So it looks kind of like a flower petal. He's got his little itty bitty wings. His belly kind of looks like Mushu's with like the ridges. And then he's got his back leg. It's kind of like, you know, like a really skinny flower petal. And that just kind of like goes down. And then out this way. You can even draw the little spikes on his back leg. And we can actually see, go ahead and erase this, a little belly from his leg. We can see another part of his leg back here. Then Mushu's thumb is underneath his belly. Bring this out. And then go in. And you bring out this one. Go out and then bring that in underneath. Another little claw here. And then you're gonna go ahead and like circle off where his claws are. And that's basically it for his hand. So we can see Mushu's elbow here. Give a little bit of fur onto the end of that elbow. This is his arm. And then a little bit of fur on the end of this elbow. I'm gonna go ahead and erase that part. Oh, of course, Crookie has little antennas. So you're gonna make one antenna going out this way. Oh, he's getting smushed by his finger. Another one going this way too. Little Crookie. And that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and line Mushu just so you can see him a little bit better.
And there you go. There's how to draw Mushu and Little Creaky Bug. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And if you haven't seen, I've already drawn Mulan uh, in this awesome butt pose right here. So if you haven't seen that yet, make sure you go and check that one out. And yeah, so yeah, let's go ahead and do a couple of other characters from the animated film Mulan because Mushu didn't make it into the live action, which I'm very sad about. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!